Great, we are back here at WMU's College of Aviation's paint lab. This was another investment that was a wise investment um, as one of those technical skills that we have for students, which is our paint lab simulator here. And so Ray, why don't you tell us a little bit more about why this is so important and why you wanted to make sure you had this here. So airplanes, made of aluminum, it does corrode. So any airplane you see is either has specially treated metal or has paint on it. And we did not have the ability previous to this facility to paint an entire airplane assembled. So we could take a wing off or perhaps uh, paint a fuselage in a hangar, none of which were ideal conditions. And frankly, having a dedicated space, the way the airflow works, uh, the, the proper lighting and the environmental controls, you only have to do it one time to not worry about humidity and other issues that cause problems when you paint. Either airplanes and cars, very similar in the type of coatings that we use for that. So this lets us train students in painting of an entire aircraft as well as our fleet maintenance personnel needing to do any painting or repair of paint on the training fleet. They all come in here and we use that facility for that. So are you planning on painting anything really extravagant? I mean, like I know with with Duncan, we've got the, the lime green plane or the purple plane, all those kinds of things. And you, do you guys do anything fun like that? Is there going to be an art prize of a painted plane somewhere in the simulator at some point? I don't know that we have a plan for that at the moment, but if we get any other status training aircraft, similar, uh, hopefully smaller, but similar to what FedEx and the organization of black aerospace professionals donated in the Boeing 727, there you have a canvas you could potentially work on. But we actually have our paint schemes. We work with the marketing and communications group on campus. We want the brown and gold and proper use of logos. So wherever that airplane goes is representing us. We particularly enjoy when the airplane's visiting a school with a similar program. So we'll fly into Ohio State, for example. And well, our paint job just looks better. That of course. All, all respect to my colleagues at Ohio State. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, it's, a, it's also a, a marketing for us. People recognize it when they see it, so we want to have a consistent message in that. But I don't know. We, we could have a, perhaps there's some contest in the future. That's amazing. This is great. So this is really, um, what are some of the unique features of this lab specifically that um, somebody who just walks into this room sees a white room with some tumbleweeds and uh, <laughs> some lights. So what's, exactly. what's the difference? I mean, what's it so special about this room specifically. The facilities like this have an air unit on the top of the, top of the building here that keeps the temperature either cool or warm depending on what, what we need. And so the air will come down through these green filters so it's, it's clean air once it gets here. And then the air traverses so when you're, when you're spray painting it's important to have any of these over sprays. The paint that bounces off or if I'm painting to an edge, something goes into the air. I don't want that to land back on the air. It leaves a, a poor finish. So the airflow comes down and goes through the back filter wall, and then gets recycled with some new air for more energy efficient. But it's really about the airflow and visibility. And also, we have breathable air, because if I'm wearing a supply of air hood, it's going to hook it up to any There's a number of specialized features in here. This is not like painting in your garage. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm not really good at painting, so I probably wouldn't be um, somebody who would be painting. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy like the brighter the colors, the better. I, I would agree. It's mm -hmm. always fun to see those planes with all the different colors on there. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you, Ray, for showing yeah. us this paint lab. I appreciate it. We're going to be right back with you, and we're going to go over into the sim lab and show you a little bit more about what goes on in the flight simulator.